Hey everyone, this is Danny. Uh, I'm very excited to be able to talk to you about Koala AUV3 release, uh, which dropped today. Um, it allows us to load Koala into a host, such as AUM, which is what I'm using. Um, and it allows us to have multi audio outputs as well as multi instances, um, which I am going to talk about now. I'll probably go into instances in a second video, uh, but I'll talk about multiple out. Um, oh, truck goes by. In this video. So, what we've got here, just a little bonus, you may not have noticed, but the way the pitch knob works has been tweaked you can if you go up and down with your finger it goes in semitones but if you go left and right it goes in less than semitones now sometimes it does jump back to a full semitone so you have to be careful but yeah i quite like the way this works um you might not have noticed that um so what have i got here i've got a track which I've made um, just quickly now. I'll just play it. So it's got a drum beat, it's got some synths, it's got a bass line. Um, and I want to be able to split those across different outputs so that I can bring them in and out at different times. One of the uses of this function is that now instead of having loads of different sequences copied and then individual elements brought in over time we can create this which is basically the entire loop in one place and then fade things in or bring them in individually later um, so what I've got here is that all the drums Right, so all you have to do is click on a pad, edit. This is going to channel one. I'll send it to, I'll leave the drums on channel one actually. Uh, what I'll do is I'll send the this synth to channel two. And this is the baseline. I'll send that to channel three. Uh, I'll send that to channel 3 with a bass. Now you notice obviously nothing is playing once you do this. Um, so I'll send that to channel 4. And actually I want the kick on its own channel, so I'll put that on channel 5. Now, if I play now, you'll just hear a bit of the drum beat. Ah, I forgot some things. These I'll put on to channel 6, why not? So I'll put these on channel 6. Okay, now what I've done is I've split this um, into groups and put them onto individual outputs. So the next thing I need to do is create those outputs for us to be able to hear what's going on. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll duplicate this channel. Now what that's actually done is create another instance of Koala, so I'm going to get rid of that. The only reason I did this is a shortcut to get the bus out of O for the output. So what you're seeing here is on the f f far right is my voice, and it's side-chaining the main output just so when the track is playing, if I talk, it ducks out. Um, so you can ignore the last two channels. Here, under multi-bus audio unit instance, you'll see Koala Sampler. A11. Uh, that is track one, first slot. So I'm going to do that. And now it shows you that this is output number two. So why don't I play while I'm doing this? Okay. So now all I have to do is duplicate this channel. Now you'll see that it automatically stepped up the input to three. Uh, so, well, it's it's output three from Koala, which is coming into this feed. So, all I have to do is continue to do this. Okay, so that's the string. Let's duplicate. 
that's the kick. Okay, that's the synth. Now you might already see the power in this because I mean now I can basically mute stuff to rearrange and that can be all automated with a, an external sequencer like Helium or or performed using MIDI. Um, so the next thing um, it will allow us to do, which is really cool, just out of interest, the Koala effects here except for pitch and gate um, only affect the first channel so be aware of that but it's cool it means that you can just put stuff that you want to run through that on channel one um, and you can put individual effects on other things so what's Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is add a side chain to the kick. This is a kick. Oh, it's called kick five for whatever reason. And this is the synth, so uh, strings. So what I wanna do is I'll, no I won't solo because that will kill my voice. Let me just mute the rest. Okay. Okay, so all I've got is the kick and the strings. Now what I want to do is add a side chain to the strings from the kick. Um, so I need to add an instance of Rough Rider and add through the multi bus for track four instance of Rough Rider a side chain input. Turn on the side chain. Now you can already hear it. So there you go, that's that's how easy it is to sidechain stuff um, from a single instance, single sequence um, in Koala. So this opens up loads of doors. Um, what I'll undo is, I'll, I'll, un I'll unmute these things. So the next thing you can do is add inline effects to anything else. Truck going by. Okay, so what? Say I wanna put a uh, tape stop effect on here. Um, I can just do it. You see the kick still going, obviously. And then, now I can add one of those to other channels if I want. So let's, all right, let's add one to the kick, why not? Um, so I can add repeats to the kick. Now, all of this stuff needs to, if you're going to create a song and you want to automate this stuff, add it, well, either perform it using a MIDI sequencer, uh, a MIDI controller, or um, you can program it all using CCs on a MIDI sequencer, which um, I can show you in another video if you want. So, now I've got a, a separate for a separate control for the kick. and for the other stuff. So just by muting stuff or fading in over time, you can just create a song and record the output. Or as I say, MIDI record it. Now same thing 
um, for sending stuff to a send. So what I'll do is I'll add an effect here. Uh, let's put this, uh, nope, not in there, in here. Let's put a tape delay, uh, a tape echo. And turn the mix up. And I need to assign a mix bus to it. So let's say A. Now, now let's say I want the drums here to have some echo. What you have to do, send that to A. And then you can just add that to other other tracks. So if if I want delay on on this track, for example, and I can send a different amount, obviously, from different tracks to the effect. So the only thing to bear in mind, obviously, is that all these, while they're muted, are still sending to channel A. So what you need to do is long hold these and change them to post. Uh, that means that instead of going before the mixer, it goes after the mixer, which means while they're muted or low in the volume, they will not be sent. So, if I unmute that. You see as I, as I fade it out, it's not actually coming through. So that is pre or post mix for that channel. And I think that pretty much covers um, as far as multi out um, potential, as far as sidechain, map stop, um, and send effects. Uh, obviously you can put EQs on all these things, you can do whatever you like, and this is just crazy um, coming out of a single instance. It's just totally insane. Um, so, hope you're excited as I am about this release, um, and join me on another video where I will talk about multi-instance and creative possibilities there. Um, until then, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you around. Cheers.